flowing yet. <laughs> Got that trench now. The water is just now starting to flow, and I got it going into that drain tile. Let's hope the water goes into the drain tile. There it goes. It's looking good. Mouth ran out of there. <laughs> Get the crap out of me. That's him on the water well. Now the only flow coming across the driveway is right there, which it's not moving very fast, and that's just from this coming off the concrete here. You see it coming this way. And then, oh man, that's, that's perfect. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted to see. I don't know how much more it can take before it starts to back up because it looks like it's about maxing out there. Get a little whirlpool going there. But hopefully it'll slow down the... having that kind of little dam there and then the rock just slow down the velocity of the water if it does overflow but well, there's a lot of rain coming down it did just overflow so I need a bigger culvert <laughs> man look at over there that's crazy there's another mouse taking off I've never seen that much water coming off of there before. Trying 
trying to clean my legs a little. We got some rain coming down right now. No, it's mostly going in the hole. Just a little bit's coming out. It's coming out of the drain tile, squirting out, I see it. That works. That's a downpour. Man, I've never seen this much standing water here before. <laughs> I'm soaked. Okay, time to go in. Okay, so that got all silted up. That's where that drain was at, about a foot down deep there, and it's just completely buried over. Um, this is all washed out deep now, and then the driveway washed out a tremendous amount last night. Super heavy rains, but that is probably 10 inches deep, I would say there, maybe 12 inches deep. my foot on there to give you some scale but the gravel obviously used to be up too you know right about there on my boot um so yeah it's it's washed away a ton of material so we're going to get the geo web in here and uh, hopefully that'll stop that from happening this is the worst it's ever been so every time i try to make an improvement here i just make it worse and uh, yeah, this isn't going very well. It washed out down at the bottom too, a little bit down there. Uh, not nearly as bad as what it is up here, but it, there's still a pretty good channel carved in the driveway there. I'll go show you a quick thing of it here. But probably like two or three passes in the tractor with the box blade and we'll have this smoothed back out. Um, it's gonna take a lot of material to fill that. Okay. And that's where this drain was at and it filled it up completely silted over just did it and then washed this is probably two to three inches deep would you say kelly yeah which Deeper this one's that. not quite as bad as this one which then the overflow from that came to here this even washed it off the textile here yep. like there's no major did it flow through there again Maybe. i'll have to go look at that I mean, that's a pretty big rock that it's moved. But yeah, this, this is four or five inches deep here. And all these bigger stones. We're just... Hopefully the GeoWeb will fix this problem.
this came out real good. Nice and flat. Smooth on the bumper. And this came out really good too. You can see it's very flat. This needs to be compacted a little bit with the cars driving over it here, but hopefully we get the We've been working on our campsite here. We got it pretty well leveled out here with the chert. And we did some work on our road. It's definitely a lot better than what it was. And now that it's this is mostly gravel, which is chert kind of leveling it out the top. But we had kind of a water was collecting down here. But it's a lot smoother now than what it was. And I widened the corner. I took out another couple of feet of that just so the bus has a lot easier time getting it around the corner there. We leveled out the parking spot where we used to have the bus parked at here and put a good bed of chert down too so it's not muddy anymore so this is a really nice parking spot for a, a bus that visits but there's no electricity here <laughs> 